Welcome back, everybody. We mentioned a Bloomberg exclusive dealing with AIG and the New York Fed about those emails disclosed by Bloomberg News showing that AIG paid banks 100 cents on the dollar for credit default swaps it had sold to them, basically made those banks whole. Now, those emails were initially obtained by Congressman Darrell Issa, Republican from California, ranking member of the House Oversight and Government Reform Committee. He joins us now from phone, uh, by phone, I should say, from San Diego. Congressman Issa, great to have you with us. Basically, well, thanks for having me back on. You bet. Those emails say to you what? That Timothy Geithner has to go? That Timothy Geithner has deceived the public during the crisis, has led to at least $100 billion of additional cost to the taxpayers because he paid 100 cents on the dollar for something that at most was worth 30 or 40 cents on the dollar, and he covered it up. Isn't it possible, though, that the Fed advice was appropriate? You've heard from Timothy Geithner. Uh, a Fed member, Don Cohn, has also come and set out that some of this needed to be uh, held, you know, back. Um, isn't it possible, though, that what the New York Fed was doing was appropriate? It is not possible. It's never possible to say you had to do something in secret that cost the American taxpayers 100 cents on the dollar. And in fact, if the public had known, they would have said, why wouldn't you pay the street market price? Some of the people who were made whole had bought those assets at a discount and as a result actually made a gain. You know, in a fair market, you don't pay what General Motors stock was worth a year ago. If today you're bailing them out, you pay what they're worth today. Geithner hid that. And as a result, the uh, AIG FP paid out 100 cents in the dollar when, in fact, without the government, this would have unwound for a fraction of that amount. Well, and in fact, as Bloomberg has reported, it was the case that uh, a lot of those contracts had already been negotiated down to a discount, uh, Congressman Issa. Why do you think uh, that the New York Fed, uh, under the control of Tim Geithner, made the decision to pay those banks out in full? I've always believed there's too, co too cozy a relationship between these former Goldman Sachs people who were running these organizations, Tim Geithner, uh, Hank Paulson, and others, that they simply were too cozy with their friends getting made whole in the banking community since it wasn't the bank's money, it wasn't an independent deal, it was the taxpayer's money being paid out. Congressman Issa, let me ask you, though, is all of this a bit of a Republican witch hunt to basically embarrass Treasury Secretary Timothy Geithner into stepping down? Well, if you call for somebody to step down and you have a valid reason, I suppose you could always call it uh, an attempt to embarrass and, and have someone step down. I've always felt that Timothy Geithner and Hank Paulson and, to a great extent, Ben Bernanke came to us with false prim promises of what they were going to spend uh, uh, the uh, TARP money for. They were disingenuous about what they intended to do, and they left town with $700 billion of your money and spent it in a way that was not appropriate, considering it wasn't their money and considering much of it did not have to be spent just to stabilize the market. Having said that, Paulson's out of, out of office, mm -hmm. Bernanke is, is safely uh, reappointed, but Tim Geithner is sitting there committing new dollars, huge new dollars, and telling us how the, to reform an industry that okay. it's very clear he's too cozy with. So before we let him and others simply redo an industry that they're too cozy with, yes, okay. we have to make that point. And I, I don't see the Democrats making it. I don't got even it. see the willingness to make uh, to have oversight by the Democrats. Congressman, we've got to run. Thank you, though, for some time. Congressman Daryl Issa obviously joining us here on the phone.